Hey guys, what's up? I have a surprise for you all. These days, my videos were restricted to only Kannada language, right? Let's have a change. This video will be completely in English language. So let's begin it. It's seven in the morning. Today's journey will be. Uh, we'll going to Badami by train. Uh, the train is at eight o'clock. Uh, well, begin is a half done. So, let's visit Banshankar Temple first, and then we'll be going to Badami Caves and so on. And we are enjoying the time by taking a couple of pictures with my friends. Hey guys, I forgot to say you that it's my first engineering vlog, and these are my friends. Uh, I'll bet you guys our group is amazing. And you will have a best vlog till here. It's nine o'clock, and we are at Badam Junction, and we are on the way to the Banshankar Temple, as I have mentioned earlier itself. We are going by auto, and it will cost around twenty rupees per head from Badam Junction to Banshankar Temple. I hope you all guys are enjoying the nature, huh? So, one like to banta hai na. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then subscribe it. Don't miss my next videos because those are like fireballs. This is the Gopuram of Sri Banshankari Temple, which means the entrance gateway. The temple deity is Shakambari, who is an incarnation of Goddess Parvati. Hence, uh, this temple is known as Shakambari Temple, and it is located at uh, Chola Chagudda near Badami in Bagalkot district, Karnataka. This temple attracts devotees from Karnataka as well as neighboring states of Maharashtra. Uh, the temple was built in the 17th century by Badami Chalukyas kings, who worshipped goddess Banshankari as their tutelary deity. The temple celebrates its annual festival called Banshankari Jatra in the months of uh, January or February. It will be mind blowing. Huh? I hope you guys are familiar with Chalukya's kingdom, right? Uh, who have given a lot of contribution in today's archaeological department. I'm super excited to see those sculptures, architects made by them and in the Badami caves. And I know even you guys are curious to see them, right? So let's go. The caves you see here are uh, rock cut architecture. These types of architectures are really very important and it's rare to find architectures like these. These caves occurred in the sandstone cliffs in the 6th century which were constructed by at that time a Jain Jain was spreading and rapidly. His brother, Mangal Shah. So we can see the Jain Saint sculptures in the caves. There are really four major caves. In K1, we can see carving of Shiva Tandav, known as Nataraj. 
and it came to is subjected to the Hindu deity Vishnu, known as uh, Trivikram. And third cave is the largest cave featuring the Vishnu related sculptures. And the last cave, Cave 4, is dedicated to reward figures of Jainism. I hope you guys like this video and got some information about Badami Caves. So let's wind up this video and let me see you in my next video. Till then take care. Bye bye.